All right, so um, I'm going to start covering the practice internal task for the Year 12 Trig. Uh, if you were at our school, you'd obviously have this. If you weren't, um, this is the wording that you basically want to pause this video and read through so you understand what we're actually trying to solve. Um, sorry, I'm not going to provide it really for you in better detail than that, but um, everybody else should know what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to approach this from the very just first survival view of like, I know in the back of my head I've actually read the problem, I know I need the area in the perimeter, but if I didn't, I'm just going to think, solve anything I possibly can. So that's what I'm going to start with here. Um, I can see that this is an arrowhead shape, it's not a perfect triangle, so I'm going to split this like so, and now I've got two triangles I can look at. A huge mistake a lot of students made is that they could just assume that 92 could split in half and you'd get 46 on each side wrong. We cannot assume that that's being split in half. So a lot of you made mistakes there. So part of what I can do is actually, if I refer to this as triangle 1 and triangle 2, you can think about it. If I kind of, I don't know, cover up triangle 1 and just ignore that for a minute and look at triangle 2, see what kind of information I can find here. I notice that I have an angle, a side, and a side and that could allow me to find this opposite angle here. So for my very first step here, um, I'm going to find a, I'm going to try and find side B, D. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this side a little a because I always label my unknown a and that's a side so it's a little a. That means this is going to be big A and then I have B and C to work with. So using my cosine rule, I know that A is going to be equal to the square root of 80, well, go in the order I've written it, the square root of 65 squared plus 80 squared plus 2 times 65 times 80 times cosine of 22, and all of that's going to be square rooted, so you can do that first or second. And when you get your final answer here, you're going to get 31.34 meters, and that is for length BD. So you want to try to be really careful about labeling what it is you're actually finding. And if I was doing this on an actual exam, I'd probably do all these labels in on the diagram in pencil as well so that I can erase stuff. So now that I've found that side, I'm going to actually come back in here and label it with what I know it is now. So I know that this side here is 31.34 meters. And that gives me some more information to kind of look at. So again, just taking off stuff that I've been using so I have a clean slate to look at again. I need to find more information. So if I look on this side of the triangle at side 2, I notice that I've got three sides now. One, two, three. That makes it really easy for me to find any angle I want with the cosine rule. So what if I said, um, let's try and find this part of the angle up here. So let's call that X. And that is angle D, B, C officially is how I might call that. I'm sorry, I'm not going to use X because I say always to use A and B. So this is A, the unknown is going to be big A here. So trying to look at this, Let me actually just shrink this stuff down so I've got room. Okay, that should work for us. Um, I'm going to try and find angle A there. So that's angle D, B, C, and it's going to be angle here is A. So I know that makes my 65 the opposite side, little a, and then I'm going to have a little b and a little c. Using my formula here, and now I'm going to have cosine inverse of a bunch of stuff, and that's going to be 31.34 squared plus 80 squared minus 65 squared all over 2 times 31.34 times 80. If you're using your calculator, be careful with your brackets on this stuff. And you should get that that angle is equal to roughly 50.97 degrees. So with a little rounding there. Um, and that's quite nice because I now know, again that same idea, I'm going to erase what I've done in terms of A, B's and C's, just so I have a clean diagram to look at. I now know that this angle here 
is going to be 50.97 degrees. And since this whole piece here is 92 degrees, I can now find angle ABD, this other piece over here, by saying um, that's angle ABD is equal to, remember there's 180 degrees in a triangle, minus the 50.97 minus, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> we're not doing 180 degrees in a triangle. Right. That big angle is again 92 degrees, so I'm just going to do it up here. 92 minus 50.97, and that equals 41.02. You could probably just have that rounded to 41 and that would be fine, but I know here that I now have 41.02 degrees on that angle. So, now that I actually have an angle on this first triangle on the left hand side, I can start to find information there as well. So if you've gotten to this point, you're definitely into the survival mode um, and probably have enough information, but we might think about just carrying on a little bit further and see, see what else we can find. So um, once you've got that as 41.02, I think those two angles were the ones that people mixed up the most or made errors on. So once you've got those, I'd go ahead, you know, just pause this and see if you can work through to that final solution for merit again on your own or for excellence again on your own now that you know how to find those two angles and um, not make incorrect assumptions about stuff. So I would recommend that. Give a go pausing it and see if you can figure the rest of this out on your own first. Okay. So looking for a bit more information in this diagram, um, I might come in here and take a look at the fact that I see a side angle pair, I can use my sine rule. So I've got 42.0 degrees and I've got 42, sorry, 41.02 degrees and I've got 42 meters, a side and an angle. And here I have a side and not an angle. So I can find that angle. So I'm going to label it A for unknown and use my um, sin rule. So that is angle um, B, A, D that we're looking for. And just try and show those. We know that we have sin of 41.02 over the side of 42 is going to be equal to sin of A over the side of 31.34. And if you do your working for that, um, if you do it one step on your calculator, you're going to have sin inverse. So I'm going to say here A is equal to sin inverse of sin 41.02 all over 42 times 31.34. And that is equal to 29.32 degrees. So that again is the angle that we now know here. It can be 20. Oops. 29.32 degrees. And I know in the back of my head I'm looking to find the area and the perimeter, so that might be what I start to direct my attention towards. Um, I have enough information to find the area of triangle 1, and I don't have enough information yet to find the area of triangle 2. So I might just do the triangle area for triangle 2. Um, yeah. So for triangle 2, to find the area here, the area of 2. Remember for an area formula it's 1 half B C, uh, yeah, B, C, sin A and we need to just make sure that we're um, looking at that in terms of things that work out. So what that means is I need an angle sandwiched by two sides and that's what I see here, kind of like a windscreen wiper. That angle goes between those two sides so I can use it. So the area here is going to be 1 half times 80 times 65 times sin of 22. And again, that's one that you could have found without even done, you know, having to find any other steps. All three of those bits were given to you as information. And the area of this one, when you plug it in, works out to be roughly 97, 973.98 meters squared. And again, don't forget to use your units. You absolutely need those. 
So that's the area of the second triangle. And coming back over here to look at the area of the first triangle, we need to find some information where we have enough stuff. So if I look at this first angle here, 29, I have one side, but I'm missing the other side I need for that area. <coughs> and I notice that's the same for the other angle, and I'm actually missing that third angle. So I know that I'm going to need this side over here anyways to find the perimeter, so I might just go ahead and try and solve for that one. So we'll call that little a. And trying to figure out how I'm going to solve this might be helpful if I actually find this angle here. Because then I can use side angle pairs again, which are quite nice. So to find this angle, I can use 180 in a triangle. So 180 minus 29.32 minus 41.02 and you get an angle there of 109.65 degrees. So that's angle ADB. Now to find little a as my last step here. Side little a, and that's basically side um, AB, the side between there. And you're going to have the side angle pairs of 42 over sin 41 point zero two is equal to sorry not equal to times sin of one zero nine point six five so I haven't plugged it in um, to the formula or I've just plugged it in straight with the rearranging included there so you get sixty point two six roughly meters and so that's the length of that top side there sixty point two six meters and again watch those units so if you tidy up the diagram a little bit, you notice that you've got all the information for the perimeter, and now we have enough information to find the area of that last shape. So let's sneak that in here somewhere. Area of triangle 2, or triangle 1. One half, I'm going to use, um, what am I going to use? I'm going to use this angle up here. So one half times 60.26 times 31.34 times sin of the angle, which is 41.02. I'll rewrite this here, 60.26. So finding my area there, calculate that out, you get a 617.074 meters squared. Now that right now is kind of survival mode. You found all the information that you possibly need. Um, from here, it's trying to put the stuff together uh, to do merit. And again, to pass this thing, you really only need a few of those. So the next video, we'll look at how to piece together the other steps.